In this video I'm going to show you different lighting setups for taking portraits. Before you take these pictures, I suggest you find a neutral background such as a white or light grey wall. In the first setup, you should place your model next to a window and in this way you will get directional light hitting your model from the side. This setup could be modified in this way. You should add a reflector on the shadow side of your model. You will still have your key light from the side, but some of the arrays of light will be bounced into the reflector and hit the shadow side of your model. This will give you a less dramatic look, but perhaps more flattering. If the sun isn't shining, but you do have access to a camera strobe, you should put it in your hot shoe and point it towards the ceiling. But you could try to add a reflector to have some of the light bounce from underneath and maybe lift the shadows around the person's eyes and nose and chin. If you are a more advanced photographer, maybe you have access to a camera strobe that you can have off-camera, either triggered remotely by a radio remote control or by an ETTL cable. Regardless of how you trigger the strobe, you should point it about 45 degrees towards your model. If you don't have a second strobe, I suggest you place your model and your key light closer to the background, but beware of the shadows that your key light might cast on the background. Something to pay attention to is to have the, the second light hit your model behind his or her head. If the model's hair is messy, you will have a hard time to extract him or her from the background in Photoshop. So I suggest you do yourself a favor and readjust this if necessary to minimize the amount of work in Photoshop. After taking your picture, it's time for some editing in Photoshop. This is my picture, and this is the setup. Key light from camera left, and a second strobe hitting the background separately. I actually selected this picture specifically because you could see the second strobe just behind my shoulder. We're going to crop this image and we're going to extract me from the background. So we'll start off by cropping, which you can access from over here or by pressing W. By holding down Shift, we can add areas to our selection. That's it. And let's duplicate the background layer and add a layer mask. Then we'll add the new background layer. And after doing so, we can see that there are areas for improvements. However, this is easily fixed. Just press our top layer, hold down Alt and make an adjustment layer. Let's use Levels. Brighter hair. And make sure to tick this box. Use previous layer to create clipping mask. And change the blending mode to luminosity. In this way, the saturation of my hair won't be affected as we make it brighter. Press OK. Let's zoom in. And as you, if I exaggerate this, 
you will see you can see that it's getting brighter and brighter right now let's focus on, focus on this part that's the original state and that's where we would like to end up probably Okay, now to prevent this adjustment layer to have effect with the whole picture, we invert the layer mask by filling it with black. Then it's just a matter of painting or Letting the effect of it of the adjustment layer appear as we paint with white over the areas that we would like to improve. Okay. And we're done. 